So players bring up stealing ultimates as a champion ability a lot. It's something that I think is pretty common as a obvious thing that League of Legends is missing that's really cool, but tech-wise, we've never really been able to do it. When I told people that I was going to be working on Silas, everybody was sort of, there's no way. There's just no way that we could make this work. You know, like anything we did in the past, we'll have to redo everything because these characters were created without expecting their spells to be shared. There's significant problems that can arise that make it so that Silas couldn't have access to their spell. So one of the very first things that we did, we set out goals for what we want to hit. One of those goals was we will not make development on League of Legends any harder because Silas exists in the game. Like, oh, I have to check this box or else there's a bug with Silas. Or if every test plan of every character you make has to say, oh, don't forget to test Silas, like that's a failure. We've created more overall work for making content. We sat down in a room and for every character, we listed out exactly what we expected for that ultimate to do when Silas takes it. And we argued about it too. So like example, Fiora. Fiora just says all of her passive works. If we give just the R to Silas, Clearly nothing is going to happen. Fiora should do more than put a circle around them. <laughs> so we said, as a player, if I take Fiora's ultimate, I expect to interact with all of the vitals just as Fiora would. So that means we need some way to attach this buff to that spell. So I think 97 out of the 141 characters that are currently in the game required some level of spell refactoring. There's like one class of characters that as a whole was particularly troublesome, or we came to call them Transformers. There's the obvious ones like Nidalee, Elise. Karma, Jace, Heimerdinger, <laughs> Shivana. So holistically, they completely replace all of their abilities. We don't want Silas to just cast one spell as Nidalee or Jace. So instead for those, you become Jace or Nidalee or Elise. And your Q, W, and E are now different. That comes with its own set of problems where it's like, okay, now you have to make sure that not only do the ultimates work, now every spell that that character comes with has to work as well. However, Jace is even farther along in that. Jace switches between hammer and gun form. That's what his ultimate does. And Jace expects to go from hammer to range to hammer to range. Silas goes from not Jace to ranged and then back to not Jace which is not hammer form Jace. And then when he's no longer Jace and he's Silas again, he has to put his kit back together. And that's with all the Transformers. When Silas turns away from being them again, we have to make sure that he doesn't keep their spells, which would be awful. What we had to do is go back through all these champions and update them to newer standards. We've learned a lot about better ways to put things together and things are easier to fix for the future. Some things are very much easier to make. While it does have pretty insane technical challenges to overcome, I really think that this project will open doors for the rest of our design team. Very much in the past, it's been, I have this crazy harebrained idea. There's no way we can make that work. But here we are doing the crazy harebrained idea. And I think it really does shift our mentality in the earlier phases to, Let's push these constraints more and see what sort of crazy things that we can actually deliver through our champions. Yeah.